Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall. Here is a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at what's happening in the news today. NFL history was made when 28-year-old Las Vegas Raiders defensive lineman Carl Nassib became the first active NFL player in history to announce he's gay. He came out on Monday in an Instagram video. In the video, Nassib said, he agonized over the decision to announce he is gay for 15 years. He said he is going to do his part to cultivate a culture that is accepting and compassionate. And he's donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project. That is a suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ youth. Three new videos released by the Justice Department in the federal case against Proud Boys leader Charles Donahoe show that during the Capitol riot on January 6th, the group did three things. The video shows them entering the building. Another video shows Donahoe and another suspect with police riot shields. And the third video captured the key moment prosecutors say the group broke through a police line and stormed the building. Donahoe is currently in jail facing conspiracy and other charges. However, he has pleaded not guilty. What's your take on the three videos? In a televised speech on Monday, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte threatened to jail people who refuse to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. The country is currently battling one of Asia's worst COVID outbreaks. Duterte laid down the ultimatum after learning there were low turnouts at vaccination sites and that out of 110 million people, only 2.1 million, less than 5%, had been fully vaccinated. What do you think about that?
According to data released Monday by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, a record-setting 80.5 million Americans have enrolled in health coverage from the federal government since the COVID-19 pandemic began. The Trump administration focused on limiting Medicaid access by placing more requirements on those seeking health coverage. But the Biden administration is trying to increase access to Americans by making the enrollment process less difficult. A spokesperson for Arizona's problem-plagued 2020 presidential election ballot audit says they're almost done with the hand count. But they're looking for lawyers who can read Braille to help count the 50,000 Braille ballots cast in last year's election. Officials with Maricopa County say they still don't know what the auditors are looking for. But they have seen a growing number of visits from several pro-Trump Republicans who say they would seek a similar ballot audit of their own state's election results. Early Saturday morning, a woman in Thailand heard a crashing and banging in her home, walked into her kitchen, and found this. An elephant's head poking through a hole in her wall. A hole, by the way, that was put there by another elephant a month before. Wildlife officials say they are seeing more and more encounters like this as human developments encroach on shrinking natural habitats. That's forcing hungry animals to rummage for food elsewhere. That elephant was truly hungry. A woman in a... A woman in New York named Julianne Kanan was faced with a dilemma when 150 boxes of children's mask bracelets that were supposed to be delivered somewhere else showed up at her doorstep. Amazon initially couldn't figure out what went wrong. So Kanan was told to keep the packages and she in turn put them to good use. 
She turned them into mask kits for the patients at a local children's hospital. As for the supplies Kanan didn't use, Amazon has agreed to donate them. A hundred and fifty boxes. I can't imagine that. That's all for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows. We might even share your comment. A big thank you to our Sign One News app subscribers. You help make this broadcast happen. Thank you. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku. Have a wonderful day. I'm so happy we don't have any elephants around here. I don't think my house could handle it.